Hello, Captains, and welcome back. We are ready to dive in here. This is my Star Trek Online Let's Play playthrough of a Romulan faction in 2018 with a Riemann character, Tactical Career. In the last mission, we took a trip back to Virinat. Had a lot of fun there. Uh, met some Starfleet officers, destroyed them, and now we're moving on. So then this mission, we've got the bigger picture, it is called... Head toward the neutral zone to discover what lies in store beyond the borders of Romulan space. Greetings, Omega. Given what you've discovered at Chaltok and Virinat, we need to widen our investigation. Republic ships have gone missing, and we can't afford these sorts of losses. We need you to look into this problem. Head to the Beta Quadrant. One of our ships went missing near the Mimpa system, and we want you to find out what happened. Investigate missing Republic ships in the Beta Quadrant. We will get to consoles, consoles, plasma weapons, things I don't need, but yeah. Oh, Charva gave us some new leads regarding Tovan's sister, Rena. Well, I appreciate the personal nature of your attempt to find Rena Kev. You need to focus on the big picture. Our fledgling republic needs to establish its legitimacy as a political body, fend off attacks and, int and intrigue by the Tal Shiar and other external threats, and stabilize its claim on new Romulus. Right now, we need you to pursue this investigation. Our fleet is not particularly large, and we can't afford to have any ships go missing. We need you to find out what's happening to them. Don't worry, this isn't the old empire where one person's welfare is put by the wayside for the good of the state. We'll keep looking for information about Rena. The best thing that you can do is help the Republic to survive so that we can devote more resources to missions of a more personal nature. Everything that Tal Shar says is a lie. Okay. Also remember, uh, Charva is from the Tal Shiar is trying to, uh, will get us to join her. And honestly, uh, my character would do that. He would totally join the Tal Shiar. Unfortunately, we don't have that option. But I have a suspicion that they're playing her, Charva, that the Tal Shiar are watching her and feeding her this information and seeing if she will leak it to other people like us, which she is. So I've got a feeling she is being watched. But we are definitely moving up the ranks very quickly. Again, I'm on advanced difficulty for all these missions. We are already at Centaurian 15. We are halfway to 20, which is the Romulan subcommander where we also get a new ship. We really are not spending a lot of time with each new ship we get. I mean, the first ship we got, it was gone in like a few missions. And now we're on this ship, and literally, like, it really doesn't take a lot of missions before we're going to be at 20 again uh, for the next ship. So we're really leveling quickly. I want to make a video where I take this ship out and just do some patrols or do some things with it just in combat. Although we've already seen it in combat in the last few episodes. I still want to do that and just make a video about this ship itself specifically. Um, although that will make us level up even faster. Not looking forward to that because I really don't want to level up even more. But um, I think it's worth it because every new ship we get I want to explore so that you guys can get a good grasp and a good idea for that, that style, that type of ship and how it flies. and and what it what it's like in battle with uh, with it all geared up to maximum levels and all that so I think it would be good I'll probably end up doing that after this video we'll just uh, go ahead and cut in there with a an extra little video uh, taking the ship into combat and doing that just a few patrols or something and we'll go over all the specifications on the ship and everything again and go over all that and um, and then we'll move on from there. I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on it, but I do want to at least cover it so that you're aware of what this level of ship at Centurion level is all about. Remember, this is the Sea Store version of the ship. Um, there is also a uh, in-game free version of the ship you get leveling up as well. And here we are approaching the Mimpa system. Begin bigger picture. Ooh. We've arrived at the source of the distress signal. Scanning the area now. 
a Cardassian vessel is dead ahead. It is surrounded by a field of subspace distortion, and I'm reading a spike in the ship's Tetrion emissions. Any life signs? Scans at this range are inconclusive. The uh, radiation is interfering with our sensors. Hypothesis on the cause of the distortion? The ship is badly damaged, but there's no clear relationship between the distortion and the ship. I ran a comparison to the anomalies we scanned previously in the Kittimer system. While they appear similar at first look, the spike in Tetrions is different from what we've seen before. We need a closer scan. Sir, there's no sign of a Republic vessel in the area. Whatever happened here is unfortunate, but I recommend we continue our search elsewhere. It may look suspicious if we linger. We, we will be cautious. Approach the ship. So, Tetrions, Field, I'm thinking Ilachi. How about you guys? The Cardassians are probably right now being um, taken from their ship. The f I don't think we should be flying into this either. <laughs> That's probably not a safe thing to do, yet I guess we are going to fly into this. Great. Full impulse just went offline. Expected cause is the distortion field near the derelict ship. Here we go. We're going in. We're in it now. The ship appears to have sustained damage, but not enough to disable primary functions or life support. There is one hull breach, but an emergency force field is in place. The ship appears to be deserted, but even at this range I can't be certain. There is significant interference from the localized radiation. Can we access their computer remotely? Cardassians use a recursive encryption algorithm to protect their data from unauthorized access. We'd have to be on their bridge to tap into their systems. Then that's what we will do. We have no idea what happened to this ship. We could be putting ourselves at risk for the sake of curiosity. Come on, Dolan. I recommend we leave and continue our search elsewhere. Well, he really wants to go. Republic ships may have suffered the same fate. We need to investigate. It's your call. But if you're going over to that ship, then I'm coming with you. Understood. Transport us to the bridge. Interesting. No visible damage. Why would they abandon the ship? Why the bridge indeed. appears operational. But where's the crew? Indeed. We need to know what happened here. No other life signs detected. We're alone. Here's something odd. There are no corpses on this ship. The ship description fits what we've seen of the Alachi. Several security logs were accessed recently. I think you're going to want to see this. The security recording is from three days ago. Yep, Ilaji. That looked like whatever a it is. It explains why there aren't any corpses. Subspace rift. It's the Ilaji. One more. Pulling it up now. They were all taken. A metal dog. Oh yeah, it's the Alachi. Were they able to identify their attackers? No. Wait. That noise. Several ships are on approach and requesting status. Sir, they're Cardassian. Uh-oh. Transport us back to the bridge immediately. They probably think we did it. Which is, of course, not accurate. We did not. But they're going to think we did. The Cardassians scanned the derelict ship. They want to talk to you, sir. Put them on the view screen. 
The Bajorans think they're our equals now. How pathetic. Huh. RRW, Hand of Omega, lower your shields and surrender immediately. We carry an order of reprisal signed by Empress Sela, authoring us, authorizing us to seize and detain Republic vessels. Considering your situation, I suggest you view this offer as a generous opportunity to save your crew. I will not surrender. That is unfortunate. Your ship would be worth far more undamaged. This is your last chance. Feel free to use the escape pods if necessary. <laughs> Cardassian fool, no wonder the Dominion abandoned you. Oh, I love that response. Oh, zing. Two more waves are approaching the system. Recommend a defensive posture with power to shields. We're going to take these suckers out. Ooh, he's gone. He's gone. All right, let's cloak. Yeah, we got a group of them here. No problem. No, we will not. Nice, very nice. We just took out a Keldon. Ooh, that was good. Okay. Review situation report. Sir, I was monitoring messages during the battle and was able to isolate a long-range transmission. The Cardassian battleship sent a message to a location in the Ida Eridani sector block. I've been unable to pinpoint the exact destination, but I'll continue to monitor the frequency and listen for further transmissions. Excellent thinking. Let me know if you hear anything. The Cardassians were unaware of what had happened to their missing vessel. It appears the Alachi attacked them while they were hunting for our ships. Bad luck. We should destroy the derelict. Let the true way think that the Republic defeated all of their patrols. Okie dokie. Based on what you've learned, it seems that your next lead is in the Beta Quadrant. Head to the Donatu, the Donatu system and see if you can learn more about where our ships are going and who's taking them. The Donatu system is located in Beta Quadrants. According to new intel, Sela has started paying privateers to capture or destroy Romulan Republic ships. That would explain why these Cardassians are operating outside their normal territory. I suggest we track these True Way ships back to their base. If we're lucky, they'll lead us right to the missing Republic ships. Okay, follow the True Way out of the system. I'm ready. Okay, go to Donatu 2. Way down here. Yep, the Alachi are up to it again. So we've got a lot of storyline threads going on here. We've got Charva, Chavra, Charva, whatever, and the Tal Shiar. We have um, Sela now looking for our ships. We have um, all that going on. We've got the Alachi now coming back again because we've got this Alachi storyline. So it's time to start dealing with the Alachi again. That's going to be fun. And just all kinds of things. And we're still looking for Rena Kev, uh, Tovin Kev's sister. 
So a lot of things going on at once, which I find appealing. We have a lot of storylines going on. That's good. When they can interweave, interweave, interwoven, interweaving, when they can interweave storyline, multiple storyline threads into a game like that so that you have constant threads to pull on, that's really cool. And it keeps, it gives it depth. It gives the game depth when there's a lot of storylines like that. So the Romulan faction is starting out very, very, you know, appealing and very good. A lot of good storylines here. Yep, I'm trying to waste time because we got a long ways to go to fly through there. <laughs> I may cut the video or not. We'll see. But I am enjoying, I really am enjoying the uh, Romulan faction. I wish there was more to it. I know eventually it's going to end and we're going to get into the Klingon missions, which are exactly the same as the Klingon faction. And uh, then we're going to get into shared missions that are even the same on the Federation and Klingon side and Romulan side that everybody has access to. Um, so I wish there were more unique Romulan missions. I also wish there were more unique Romulan ships. You know how I am about that. Um, but otherwise, it's good storytelling and I mean it's fun. It's fun to play these missions. It's fun to, fun to go through all this. Um, a lot of dialogue, though. I am finding that the uh, Romulan faction is very dialogue heavy. And there's not enough voice acting in it. So I think a lot more of the dialogue could be read by voice acting. Tovin is doing good, but there are others. Uh, when you hail for new missions and stuff like that, I wish those were um, uh, voice acted. Otherwise, though, Tovin is whoever, whoever voiced Tovin is doing a very good job. And he has a lot of dialogue for sure. But the overall, there is a lot of dialogue to read in the Romulan faction. A lot to go through, a lot to understand. If you were new to Star Trek, never played or never seen a Star Trek TV show in your life, the storyline could be a little confusing because you're like, what's a Tal Shiar? What's a Romulan? What's a Reem? And what's, you know, it's like you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know the Tal Shiar are Romulans, but they're like a secret sect. No, they're not really secret. But you would know how they relate. And uh, so without that information you would just be like, well, okay, they're, they're something. I don't know what. They're something, though. Because <laughs> they don't really explain what that is in the game. Don't not do do. Sir, a magnetic field is surrounding a large concentration of asteroids dead ahead. I've run a sweep for public transponders, but either the Cardassians removed it or there's too much interference for sensors to get a lock. There's also a Cardassian satellite dead ahead that may be impeding our scans. Investigate Cardassian satellite. Satra, what do we know of this system? Donatu 2 is a Class J planetoid locked in orbit along with several hundred large asteroids. Because the planetoid has an iron core and is relatively close to the star, there's a significant magnetosphere trapping stellar wind plasma. The resulting magnetic flux and numerous asteroids will prevent us from safely using full impulse once we enter the field. 3 of 4, give me a tactical analysis. The Cardassians are most likely using the magnetic fluctuations in this area to hide their privateer operations. Our sensors were able to pick up a nearby satellite and a station located in the asteroid belt. I've marked the location of them, of, of them both on your tactical map. Recommend we stay cloaked as we approach the station, sir. You got it. get to the satellite first though in addition to the magnetic interference the Cardassians have mined the asteroid field ahead with defensive turrets 
This satellite appears to be targeting array and fire controller for those turrets. We may be able to access the satellite's programming, but there's a chance that if we do, we'll alert the Cardassians. Do it anyway. I've successfully accessed the control layer within the satellite's operational routines. This satellite is sending commands to several defensive turrets. We may be able to insert a malicious command that will disable or neutralize many of the turrets. What is your command? Tactical. Reprogram target. Recognition. Yes, do it. The new programming routine has been successfully uploaded, sir. Not all of the turrets in the area were susceptible, but we've softened the defenses between our ship and the Cardassian station. If we avoid the magnetic flux energy, we should be able to remain cloaked as we approach the station. That's cool, they're firing on each other. Well, now I gotta go slow. Oh, it blew it up. Love the ability to cloak. There's a Cardassian station. Well, we're getting through here without being detected. That's good. And that's a lot of defensive satellites, that's for sure. They, they mean business. Holy crap, there's a lot of ships here. Take out the turrets first, then the patrol. What turrets? Oh boy. This is gonna go bad. Assault the station. Oh, we survived. Wow. That was pretty rough. That was a lot of ships at once, but we survived. We've crippled the station's defenses, but it is only a matter of time before they summon reinforcements. A Republic warbird is being held in the station's dock, and scans indicate that at least some of the crew are being held in the station's brig. The station's command center is hailing us. The only true way for Cardassians is the way of conquest. Your brazen attack on this station is further proof of that the Romulan Republic is nothing more than a terrorist cabal. We've contacted the legitimate Romulan government and alerted them to your presence. Any further acts of terror against this station or any Cardassian citizen will be met with deadly force. Release the Republic ship and her crew. Your ignorance of Cardassian history is insulting. We do not listen to demands. We give them. Close the channel. Get me a location for the Romulan crew. The crew is being held in a detention area on the station's outer ring. The area is shielded to prevent transport. We need to get the crew to their ship. The station operates on several fusion reactors located at the base of the central core. If we configure our deflector to emit high amplitude electromagnetic waves, it will disrupt the iner inertial lasers in their reactors. The safety protocols will cause a temporary power shutdown. If we time it properly, there will be a window of opportunity as the Cardassians switch to backup power. We'll be able to transport the crew to their ship. 
Oh, lovely. All right, well, let's do this. We can live without fear. I assume we can thank you for our escape. Before you transported us, I overheard a guard saying that more Trueway ships were approaching. We need time to restore emergency power. Please provide cover until we are able to go to warp. Warp to the flotilla as soon as you can. We'll cover you. More ships, more ships coming in. Hurry up. Power restored, preparing to warp out of the system. There they go. You can now warp. So far, I haven't had to protect them from anything except that one ship. Yay, they made it. The Republic chick has safely warped out of the system, sir. The Republic Warbird has warped to safety, sir. We will need to report to Subcommander Nadell and inform her of the Cardassian privateering operations in this sector. Recommend we leave the system before any additional Cardassian reinforcements arrive. Nice, clean mission right there. Pretty long one, actually. But, uh, yeah, we've got the Alachi to deal with. That's what we've learned mainly here. Excellent, Centurion. I hope that your new starship has performed to your satisfaction. Now that we know about Sela's attempts to capture our ships, we'll order our commanders to exercise additional caution in territory near True Waste Space or other groups that might try their hand at privateering. I have received some new intelligence from our allies that may be of use to us. Expect to hear from me shortly. Yay! And we're going to take one of these things, which we don't really need, because we're, we're definitely set on, set on gear, that's for sure. Congratulations, Centurion. And now we are Centurion 16. Which is nothing new at 16, but a new level. And new skill points. So that's it. We are now at Centurion 16. We are really making our way quickly through the ranks. Uh, like I said, I do want to do a video with uh, some patrols in this ship, so I might as well do it now before we move up even farther into the uh, ranks here. Before I play more missions, because that'll rank us up more as well. So I'll go ahead and probably do that in the next video, and we'll do some patrols and just, just do a couple of things and show off this uh, ability here and exactly what it does, Singularity Inverter and all that. But otherwise, uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for the next one.